So in this triangle, we're given three side lengths and no angle measures. So the only thing we can do in this case is use cosine law in order to find one of the miss missing angle measures. So what we're going to do is use angle, solve for angle D using this version of the cosine law. And so what we're going to do is sub in E for E and F and D, which are 8.5 for E, 6.2 for F, and 10 for side D. Right, so I'll go through on how to do this in one step in a calculator. You open a bracket, open a second bracket, and it's in the first bracket, it's or the second bracket, it's 8.5 squared plus 6.2 squared minus 10 squared. Close the bracket, divided by, and open another bracket, and it'll be 2 times 8.5, so the times 6.2, close that bracket, close the second bracket, and then we take the inverse cosine of that answer, and if we round to the nearest degree, we find that angle D is approximately equal to 84 degrees. We get angle D is approximately equal to 84 degrees. So we know one angle measure now. So now that we have an angle measure and the opposite side, the easiest thing to do now is use sine law in order to find either angle E or angle F. You could use cosine law to solve for one of the angle, other angle measures. That would work, but it would be a lot more complicated. Sine law is easier to use at this point. So we're going to use sine law in order to calculate angle E. So when we sub in for E, D, and angle D, we get sine E over 8.5 is equal to sine of 84 over 10. We're going to multiply both sides by 8.5 and we get sine E is equal to 8.5 times sine 84 over 10. So that means that angle E is equal to the inverse sine of 8.5 times sine 84 divided by 10. So we'll open up a bracket and it's 8.5 times sine of 84 divided by 10. Close the bracket and then we take the inverse sine and we find that if we round the nearest degree that angle E is approximately 58 degrees. So angle E is approximately equal to 58 degrees. So now we have th two of our three angle measures. We can just make use of the fact that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So angle F is 180 minus 84 minus 58, which is 38 degrees. So, a surveyor is drawing plans for the construction of a tunnel through a hill. When the surveyor is standing at point T, he calculates the distance to point R to be 3.15 kilometers and the distance to point S to be 2.1 kilometers. The surveyor measures angle RTS, so RTS, to be 82 degrees. How long does the tunnel need to be?